I know she has some other vital issues to handle and uh, while we miss her presence from here and that she must know that we were really fondly looking at her coming. Uh, we understand uh, the other compulsions. And of course, the very proud AOC Air Defense who is heading this new drive into the modernization of Pakistan Air Defense. And of course, the very, very proud OC-491 squad. As you all probably would know that <clears throat> this was called 410-02 uh, squadron and I always got mixed up with various types of uh, systems and so I requested the OCA Defense to reorganize because we had started off with these symmetrical numbers in various systems but over the years as we kept inducting various types of radars from China and others when things are not coming from the United States. <coughs> so the numbers got mixed, but I'm happy it is back on track. All TPS 77 squadrons will be 409 series, starting with 491 here at Masroor. See here, under the globe, the TPS 77 is a symbol really of our desire to continue to retain peace in the region because we all very firmly believe and this is not rhetoric this I very firmly believe and my government my national leadership very firmly believes that if we retain peace it will be only good for everyone in the region or for the world at large and the only way to retain peace is to retain some kind of a stability. In this equation that we maintain a, at the technical level, it is very important that the other side should continue to get the message that it will not be prudent to take on to your smaller neighbors. And as long as this particular thought continues to remain instilled in their mind, peace shall stay. And that is the entire focus of Pakistan Armed Forces, to retain peace so that we have the opportunity to divert more time and money towards the direction that we need to do, that is social sector development and infrastructure development and improving the life and quality of life of a common man in this country. We're happy that's happening. There was again a major difference of opinion between Pakistan and the US on the issue of the nuclear front. I can take you back 20 years and I, I understand that there was that strong desire not to let this happen in this country. We believed then, and I think it is proven now, that if Pakistan had not gone this way, and of course Pakistan has paid a very heavy cost for moving this direction of acquiring the strategic capability. This particular radar, by itself, in standalone mode, is obviously a very good piece of equipment, a very high technology air defense equipment which will add a lot of capability to our air defense system. But it is symbolic. It is symbolic in that growing understanding and the relationship between the United States and Pakistan. It is symbolic in that growing balance of equation in the tactical regime in the region which will ensure peace, which will ensure stability, which will result, inshallah, into growth. We have all seen that in the past five, seven years in this country and more number of years across on our eastern neighbor side, 
peace and stability has paid dividends for a common man. The economies are growing, the infrastructure is growing, the social sector is growing, the quality of life is improving. And that is what is most desirable by all. Coming back to this particular ceremony this morning, I am very pleased to have the reps of the US government here. I am also very happy that General Jameson with his team is here. We all have been working together on this and like General Jameson stated that the US industry has done a lot of work to have this radar get commissioned here.